So yeah, I'll take a minute to talk about the Epson Media Installer. And let me see if I can bring up that application. This is new to uh, this family of printers. And what it does is it, it, um, it marries up uh, your, your uh, control panel to your driver and it allows you to, to um, the, 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 the print settings. So things like, you know, how much ink is being laid down for a particular media, how thick the platen gap is, the tension, things of that nature are all being uh, uh, closely calibrated by the Epson Media Lab and then loaded into the, to, to, uh, to their servers so you can download uh, and, and put it on your printer. And uh, so in this example, I've registered a bunch of media and maybe the legacy platine needs an update. So you just say, um, uh, download and register. And while it's doing this, it takes about a minute. Um, I'll just tell a story. I was, I was on site with a client recently and we were working on the hot press uh, Bright and uh, building custom profiles uh, on top of the, the media that, that ship with the, uh, the media settings that ship with the printer. And we're getting nice big color gamuts, but the shadow detail really wasn't what I was hoping for or what the client was hoping for. And so I was kind of curious. Uh, so I reached out to my Epson tech. He goes, oh yeah, go to the media installer and download the newest one. We, we, we've updated it. And I did. And the, the shadow detail was, was really quite excellent. And so it's nice. It's, you know, I, I kind of think of it like, a, like a, maybe a, a Tesla car that you keep on getting updates that makes the car or the printer better and better over time. And I think that's a pretty important feature that's available uh, with this line of printers. So is there anything more you want to say about this, Mark, before I move on? Or maybe Mark is. Yeah, yeah, no, am I that? Am I that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that, um, sure, there's lots of things that, that you could, we could go over. Epson Media Installer, um, like you said, it, it's, it takes a little bit of time. It's, it's kind of, what's going on is it's actually interfacing with the front panel of the printer. So you're writing settings to a small little computer that's, that's on the printer. But also what it's doing as well is underneath the hood is it's also taking those settings and it's updating everything in your operating system as well and in your printer driver. So like in the case of a, um, of a, of a, of a brand new media, it's taking that media, it's installing it into the printer driver so that when you actually go to the media, it shows up by name and, and that makes it really, really easy. It also populates into Epson print layout. So it's designed to make the communication between the user and the application and the printer much more seamless, right? You're following everything along the line. If you're using legacy fiber or legacy platine, then you'll see those, those, the, that, that media everywhere within your workflow. Um, it also works with third-party media as well in the sense that you can copy some settings from a media type, rename them, and, and then actually add your own ICC profile or the manufacturer's uh, ICC profile. And then that same process of writing to the printer, writing to the OS and the driver and, and, uh, and the application, all of it is barely seamless. So when you go into the driver, you'll find the exact media that, you're, that, you, that you've engineered and, and made a workflow for. So, yeah, I'll also add, you know, this is an example. You can see down here, there's one called Premium Luster Photo Paper Clark. This gives you the ability to customize papers uh, and customize settings for luster. Maybe you want to, you know, have a slightly higher platen gap to minimize the potential for head strikes or whatever. Uh, you can then customize the, the paper type in this tool, and then it'll load up to the, uh, to the control panel, and you'll see your custom paper. So it's, it's a nice... Uh, Nice advanced feature, I would say. And then the other thing is it makes the uh, driver workflow just a little bit easier. So if you have everything controlled on the control panel, then um, then under the under the driver settings, you just say use printer settings. It's all on the, on the control panel. And you don't have to think about choosing the right media type in here. You just always use uh, printer settings. So there's another tool that's available. It's been out for, I don't know, I'm not quite sure how long, but it, it's, uh, it's uh, relatively new. And this is the large format accounting tool. And we often get questions about how, how can I tell how much each print, each print costs? And now we have the ability to monitor that very closely with this tool. So it allows you to enter your cost of paper or media, your cost of ink into the tool, and then it monitors what each print is costing you. So uh, in this example, uh, this, this Ganji's uh, uh, 
print I made was you know, 0.33 meters squared and it used you know, a certain amount of ink and a certain amount of enhanced matte paper uh, for a total of $2.81 for that print. And you can also monitor your total usage over a period of time. And if you want to explore in more detail and do reporting, you can export to CSV. Or if you want to take a look at a specific job, you can drill down, double click on that, and you can look at all the, the details of a particular job and how much media was used on that job and how much ink was used in that job, even each ink. And so it's, it's powerful. Uh, one caveat that's worth noting is this is only available on Windows. So you need a Windows box to, uh, to, to run the software. So I do all my printing from the Mac and, and all the, the history is on the computer itself, its hard drive. So I just accessed this from a Windows computer to get these screen grabs. 